Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about transport wheelchairs. So today I'm going to talk about who would be benefiting from transport wheelchairs and in what situations they may benefit, as well as what you'd be looking at with a transport wheelchair as far as the uh, stuff that's included with them, as well as a few things I always add on to transport wheelchairs to make them the most effective tool for you. So first things first. Who would benefit from using a transport wheelchair? These are really not meant as a permanent wheelchair solution. So if you're somebody or a loved one who cares for somebody who relies on a wheelchair for all mobility, these are really not meant as their permanent uh, primary wheelchair solution. They're just not constructed to last through the wear and tear of everyday use. These are really meant for somebody who perhaps needs it only for short trips, i.e. going to the doctor's office or going to a um, outing into the community. Um, we use these sometimes to take people to the park or take somebody to a grocery store, something that may need the ability to get through the store but can't do it by walking the entire distance. So these are great for that. What makes these exceptional is their weight. Compared to a traditional wheelchair, these weigh sometimes as much as a quarter uh, of what they would totally weigh for a huge wheelchair. These things weigh about 20 pounds. Both models I have here, this one by Medline, this one by Carex, are in the 22 to 23 pound range when fully assembled. Uh, they have them by Medline that are even lighter than that. I've seen them as low as 17 pounds, which is very lightweight, but also indicative of the wear and tear that they can tolerate. So take into consideration that the lightweight, which is an absolute benefit when you're having to take it in and out of a vehicle frequently, is wonderful, but it will also make them not quite as durable as a different, heavier solution. So these two wheelchairs are going to come fully uh, set up for your user. They've got the footrests. They come with brakes. These ones have two different style brakes. Some have the handle brakes up top like you'd see on a four-wheel walker. And then this one has the brakes that are down low on the floor here. So a little bit harder to reach if you're somebody who struggles with back issues. Um, but those are down there for easy, easy access as well. And if you're going to be using this with your loved one, it's important to recognize that they, they lack a few kind of important features. And one of those being uh, seat pads or cushions. They come with a standard sling. Um, which I don't recommend having your loved one uh, sit directly on. I always recommend purchasing a second cushion. This is a very low cost cushion solution, just a high density foam cushion like this. And what you can do is just set this onto the wheelchair and that way it's going to absorb some of the vibration because these are very heavy vibration because the wheels are quite small and usually a very dense um, rubber. So there's not a lot of absorption of the vibration like you'd get on a um, air filled tire. So having a seat cushion is going to improve comfort. It also helps to prevent any pressure sores or pinching that can occur along the sides of these slings. So this nice cushion comes off when you're folding it up and then it can be slid back onto a regular seat like this. So as you can see, this one is on Amazon is very low cost. I will link below a few other cushions I really, really like. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to ask. So they come with these foot rests as well. And I have to say, they work excellent um, for their basic function. They do swing away just like a regular wheelchair foot rest would just simply by activating this thing. And they fully come off. Now, I will mention that most of these chairs, this one's a little lower, this one by Medline. Um, this one's a bit higher. Most people cannot reach the floor with a transport wheelchair. They're just too high up. And because they don't have a large wheel, these chairs are going to be fully dependent use. So those who use them are going to be relying entirely on a caregiver to propel them throughout any type of uh, place where they'd be going. So even with these off, most people still can't reach the floor to, to uh, propel themselves. But removing them is not a bad idea when you're putting it away or if you're simply using it to um, assist with a transfer. Neither of the armrests are going to swing away. That's important for some folks who rely on a slide board transfer. These armrests are not going to lift up and out of the way in either of these models in the vast majority of models that I have seen. That's really important. So if you've got somebody who does rely on a slide board, you may wanna look at an alternative solution that's going to give you the swing away armrests. Okay, so we can put the footrest back on. One thing I've found with most transport wheelchairs is they also don't have a heel rest on the, on the, on the footrests. And this is important because sometimes for individuals, they will find that their feet are sliding off of the footrests. I do have a solution for this if you run into it. A really quick solution is to use um, TheraBand. I have this one in a complete ring. Some people will have them in a full length. Simply adding the TheraBand around the back of these footrests will give something for the individual 
to rest their feet against. And this will keep their feet from sliding back and potentially interfering with or running into these front wheels. Um, so just adding a little bit of something to support the back of the heel is an excellent way to make these transport chairs more effective for the user. The other thing I always add to my wheelchairs is a cup holder. So this is a clamp-on variety. This, these go on really, really easy. Simply put it in place, whichever side your loved one or person that you're caring for really appreciates, you simply twist it into place and it can stay in position even when you fold up the chair, which is a really, really nice feature. So this chair is fully assembled now in the way that I would usually use it for, my, uh, for a situation where I was working with somebody. So I've got the seat cushion in place, I've got the cup holder, and I've got the heel rest added. So the next thing I wanna show you is how you would fold a chair like this up in order to transport it into your vehicle. So I'm gonna move this one out of the way for a second, and we will switch over to this guy here. You can see they're very simple. All you have to do is, and like I said, most of the time I remove the footrests. So that's the first step. They add a little bit of, a little bit of weight and can make it awkward to fold it. So removing the footrests. Okay, and now you're gonna wanna make sure that you tuck the seat belt up out of the way. They all come with a seat belt, so I'm just gonna kinda tuck it behind the seat here. Then to fold it up, you simply grab at the center of the seat, the center of the sling, and lift upwards. It should scissor into two pieces, or into two parts and kind of close up like that. Then you're going to tuck the seat cushion, or the seat sling back down, just like that. And you've got these two handles here for lifting, and you can transport it just like this. These do come with an additional feature. To make them even smaller, they have on the back here, this little lever, and both of them have this. And by pressing this, it allows you to fold that back down, so now it's even smaller, which is great for really small vehicles. Grab it in the middle of the seat, fold it up, push that seat down out of the way, just like that. And that's where these little handles can come in and use it to lift this and place it in and out of the vehicle. You can see it's very small and compact, will fit in the back of most cars. And so again, when you go to assemble it, you're simply going to push the seat flat, like that, and then you're going to bring the back portion up Make sure that it locks in place, both sides. Find your footrests, add them back on, just like that. And then add any features that you have, that you like to put on. This At this point is when you would place the seat cushion on. This is where you would put the backrest on the back of the footrests, like I showed before, and it's ready to go. So really easy to assemble and use for most people. Now, again, they have a little bit of different variety. I'm gonna do a video that does a really good head-to-head -head comparison on these two particular chairs to help you make a decision on what's right for you. So make sure you subscribe if you want more information on that. So there you have it, the basics of a transport wheelchair. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. If you got some value out of this video, consider giving me a thumbs up. And as always, if you need more information on how to stay safe and independent in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.